What is going on guys? Dylan here with Solo Cuts Landscaping. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and how to install of the custom fitted seat covers by Covercraft. I had actually got these a couple months ago, but because of the season we hadn't got them in. But we got downtime now, so we're going to get these installed. We're going to show you how to do it. So stay tuned to this video. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing of these, see exactly how they're packaged in there and what really comes in it. And then um, once we get through that, we're going to get these things installed. All right, so right off the rip, they come just completely folded up in the packaging. This is definitely the front seats. Comes with the headrest, just with the plastic tie on that. There would be the center console. And then here is the other front seat there. Here it comes with a manual instruction, also comes with the warranty card in there, so that way you can register these, so that way they're covered under warranty. Not only does it send the instructions in this, but it's also a brochure of all the different types of products they have. They have different brands and looks of the seat covers themselves. Also, they have car covers as well, so that way you can find really about anything with them. So anyways, I will link their information down in the description below so you can check out anything they have. All right, guys, now we're going to move on to the back seats here. Should be pretty self-explanatory on this one. It is a 60-40 bench split. This is going to be the 40. This bigger section is going to be on the 60 split side. Now that we have these unboxed, we're going to get into the instructions, see exactly how these are going to be fitted on there, and then um, we're going to be showing you guys how to install them so that way you know exactly what you're going to be doing. All right, guys, so here we are in the back of the truck. To be 100% honest, this hasn't been the easiest things to put on um, just because, unfortunately, you can push this part of the seat up, but you can't move the back. So because you can't shift the back forward, it's super tight to get everything in. So um, what we did is we went ahead and installed the back part of the, um, the seat cover. So we're just gonna give you like how we did it and how it made it a little bit easier for us to do it. But like I said, it's really not that simple just because the fact of you cannot move the back side of the seat. So what we did is we slid these on Right here, it does Velcro around your headrest. So once we got the back portion on, we fed the straps through the back side and then also down in between the seats. So what it would then do is both ends would hang down here on the bottom to where you could then clip them and singe them tight. The hard part is, is just there's no room on the back side here to fit your hands or anything, or even in the crevices here. There's really not this much room. Um, I don't know if when they design these, if it's just a bare seat there, and they install these and that maybe that's how they're cut like that but i will say with this style of truck without being able to fold the back of the seat it really does make it kind of a pain in the neck so you also have to make sure that you have clearance between where the hinge is because you don't want that plastic clip caught in the hinge now we're going to install the back center console and all it is is two velcro straps you're going to feed it in between the two velcro forward and you'll be good to go all right guys so here it is with the center console pretty simple just feeding the straps through fold it up there it is, and that's the center console. All right, guys, so like I said, it's not the easiest task to do, so we went ahead and assembled this side, so that way we can explain on how we did it. Again, feed everything around the back, fold the seat up, and you fish it down to the bottom. Clip them that way, singe it tight. For the base here, this one was actually pretty simple because you have plenty of room to work. Clips, fold those to the back, lean this forward, pull this strap up, and then your clip right here goes through what I did, which didn't really say on the instructions exactly what these loops are for, but what I did is I fed this strap because it's long enough through each loop and then back around to the clip. So that way it is tight, singe it down. There it goes. Now these are pretty form fitting. There's the backs. Now we just gotta get the bottom of this one and the back's gonna be all complete. All right guys, so here we just slid the base of the seat on. What you wanna do is when you tuck this in between the seats, make sure you go in front of your seat belt because there's a cable on the back side that locks it down to the floor. So once you feed that part through, flip this up, your three straps are gonna be here. Take this strap and feed it through. Singe them tight. Now 
Now, here is your head cover. That is just an elastic band on the bottom, so that one's pretty simple. So guys, there is the back seat. They're a little wrinkly, because they're in the packaging, but that will go away. Honestly, <laughs> the backs were not easy to install. Um, there's not much hand room to work, so you just have to keep finagling it till you can kind of feed it through, and then finally you get to the point to where you end up getting it to work out. The bottoms are super easy because you have all the room you need, but because you cannot fold the backs of these down, um, there's really not much you can do but just keep wedging your hands in there and get them um, all done. So now we're going to jump over to the front and uh, get this taken care of. All right, guys, so now that we have the backs in, it's going to go on to the front. Now, I'm pretty sure the fronts are going to be a lot easier than um, the backs were because you have a lot more room to work. So here is your headrest. So you want to make sure, lift up the headrest. Once you get it over the headrest, just keep working it down around so that way you keep forming your mold. And you might have to jump around to the back side to keep pulling it so that way you can get it pulled down as far as you can. All right, so when you flip the bottom of the seat cover up, um, here's gonna be your base, but underneath there, there's gonna be this long strap. This is what you wanna feed in between the back of the seat and the base of the seat. You're gonna feed this through and then you're gonna pull it through underneath and then that's what's gonna singe this tight through this clip so that way it makes it snug. Just real quick, when you fold the back seat up, this has Velcro underneath so we can Velcro to the bottom of here. But that strap, you're gonna have to come up under this and lift basically straight up. And you'll feed that strap through. And what you wanna do is just give that a hard pull so that way it's in just tight. And feed that up as far as you can so that way you can reach it underneath. All right, so now that we have fed it through underneath, we are going to bring the seat cover over. As you can see there, there's plastics between the cloth of the seat. Um, this seat cover is actually gonna feed in between the two of those. Uh, so you're not gonna be putting this all the way around the plastics, it's gonna be going in between the two there. Right here is a thick foam piece. What that is gonna do, it's gonna go in between your plastic and your seat there. It's gonna keep this from when you get in. It's gonna keep it from shifting on you, so that way it is sure to stay in place. All right, so now that we got that piece tucked in there, really all you have to do is just keep working it around, trying to get it as tight as you can. Like I said, pull on that cable, see how it singes that deep down in there, and clip it in. So that's tight, singe it tight, and there you go, that is that. All right, so the only thing left we have to do here on the driver's side seat is just slip the head cover on, which is simple. Slide over there, tuck the Velcro back. Velcro's up underneath, and you are good to go. Alrighty guys, so as you can tell, this is a different day from when I recorded that video. For some reason, something happened to the footage there at the end where there was no sound and it was all jarred up. So we didn't get to show you just how we put the um, put the center console's cover on, but that was super easy to do. So besides the center console, everything else was right there. Guys, these weren't the easiest to put on, but the nice part is, is once they're on, they fit great, they look great, and that is what I was wanting. I wasn't wanting just a one size fits all type of seat cover. I wanted something that was durable, something that would protect my seats. These are machine washable, so when they get dirty, I can just take them off, throw them in the wash, and put them back on. So now that I know how to put them on, it should be a lot easier. So guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments below 
Do you guys have certain brand of seat covers that you recommend? What do you guys do to protect your work trucks? That way you get the longest life out of this truck. So guys, thank you very much for taking the time out of your day to watch another video here on the Solo Cuts Landscaping YouTube channel. I want to thank every single one of you guys. But as always, guys, remember, do what you love, love what you do, but never, no, never stop. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.